thanks sonal for that wonderful introduction so like she already said we are going to share anecdotes today and by all the yo trail blazers of the world these amazing bio readers that we have so an anecdote can be amusing or entertaining it could be a running joke in your professional circles it could be a personal story about a patient no revealing identifiers of course a life lesson from a seemingly minor situation a case that was interesting not just in clinical scenarios mm. non clinical ways and lastly anything that is witty inspiring or even poignant so i'm looking forward to hearing anecdotes from all of you so i i hope you like this idea and i hope you know everybody will enjoy this session so i'll just start by beginning to share my screen first we have dr ashraf ul haq who is the founding president of bangladesh vayu society ashraf hello everyone am i audible yes you are yeah uh, thank you my dear yosi friends for inviting me here and i am very much honored to join with this group so uh do uh, uh i shall start my talk yes please okay so uh uh in this forum i would like to uh take the privilege to share the story of the bangladesh young ophthalmologist society so what's happening that our society which we formed just four months back but the thing when in january 2020 we we didn't have any idea or any plan to form a society but this covid era has given us the opportunity to communicate with the global leaders global wild society leaders so that give us the idea that okay fine we should do something for our ophthalmologists our young ophthalmologists so why not forming the young ophthalmologist society of bangladesh and then we approached our uh, senior for this wild societies and we formed it in 2020 september 17th i believe this is the newest young ophthalmologist society in the world one of the newest but you know that when you form a society when you organize this thing this is the experience which i want to share that young ophthalmologists being the young they are very emotional rather than rational and in, nearby you have all the people who will criticize but the good part is that this criticism you can make it as a fuel for your speed of work and the emotion that you can have converted to the strength by your work so we always believe that your work will say for you don't talk but your word that will say for you and in this four month we have organized few international webinars and uh, we have collaborated with two interna- uh, young ophthalmology society and i am very much grateful for the help of yoshi and also we have collaborated with the philippine young ophthalmology society and in this four month what happened is that you know in bangladesh we have around 1000 ophthalmologist and among them like 180 are the young because we have some age bar of 40 years so one among this 180 two third of the ophthalmologist are now in our group in bangladesh young ophthalmologist society and we have some plan that what we learn from our mentors that all us try to give the best vision for the patient 66 is the vision but sometimes you we can achieve 612 or 618 vision that is the best for the, that patient so simultaneously for the young ophthalmologist try out the best from them that is our goal and hopefully in this covid era we are working and every situation has given us the opportunity to do something differently we are working for that and and uh, we are i am very much grateful for the uh, your she friends for giving us the opportunity and you know from the very beginning of this organization yoshi has helped us and thank you uh, everyone and uh, the thing is that uh, this is the virtual world that brings us together but hopefully after the pandemic we can have a meeting in the real world thank you very wise words ashraf ul haq and uh, thank, thank you, you so much and yes so your work should speak for you that is the take home message thank you so much next without further ado let me call 